One of the most difficult situations a young woman might find themselves in is raising a child alone. No, I'm not talking about when you've separated with the father of the child, but he's there for the child. I'm talking about when a young woman is raising the child totally alone. Now, it is especially difficult whether it's a boy or a girl. But when it's a boy, some extra measures need to be taken. What you need to understand about males is that we learn from seeing other males. And we are more likely to copy other males. It doesn't matter if they're close to us or they are distant. We, that's what we do. We just learn from other males. Hence, you have the concept of a It's because it comes from a very serious part of our lives where we really admire people that live the lives that we aspire to so we copy them so now back to your child you might be missing an opportunity to start identifying men to have a relationship with men no not a romantic relationship i'm talking about colleagues i'm talking about friends i'm talking about i don't know maybe even exes <laughs> i don't know but you need to look at the kind of men that you have access to you identify qualities in them which you'd like your son to learn so if you know Uguti, there is a certain guy that you know who's really well behaved and take is taking care of his family or he he also has a son start nurturing a relationship with that man where you are able to take your son to spend time with this man doesn't matter if the man has daughters or maybe even the men's children are older than no children it does not matter what you're looking for is to introduce your son to the kind of men that he needs to know exist out there now there's no telling what kind of relationship that your child will have with this man or what he is going to learn from that man however it's more better than you trying to be a mother and a father to the child because when the child grows up no matter what you do no matter how you try and convince the son that his father is a deadbeat and he doesn't care about him we men know that we need our fathers because it gives us a sense of identity it doesn't matter if my father is a drunkard or whatever it is or left me but i will want to know that man and if i do not have a positive foundation i will most likely try and copy my father even if i met him when i'm 18 or older as much as you put effort in looking for your next boyfriend it is equally important if not more important for you to look around for men that you have access to so that you can expose your son to those men.